And so mm. with that, please welcome Miss Holly Pateman to the, yes. to the uh, stage here. Thank you Thank very you. much. Please be here, guys. Um, and yeah, I'm dialing in from Vancouver, Canada today. I am in the IT Glue office, but uh, I'm the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing at Kaseya. And today we are going to uh, talk a little bit about BSA. I'm not usually one to sit at the front of the bus, by the way. So going first is a little out of my comfort zone, but all good, right? We have to do these things. All right, so today VSA presents, we're calling this the curious case of the endpoint management ether. I think uh, most people can probably relate to this. And what this means, I mean, let's look back a little bit, right? And this isn't all that long ago. RMM management back in the day, and I'm talking back in the day being five, six years ago, it was pretty simple, right? We had a desktop PC, maybe a laptop and a server. Things were easy peasy. Most RMMs could handle it. Uh, MSPs were, were smooth sailing. But now let's fast forward. This is what it looks like. Um, and it's only getting bigger and larger, right? So we've got, we've got the desktop and the laptop. Now we've got a Mac laptop, we've got a server, we've got public cloud, we've got cell phones, we've got tablets, uh, IoT devices, network devices, and more and more and more. Essentially, this is the look of MSPs these days, right? It's so frustrating because we're being asked to do more with less. We're not, it's not like, um, it's not like we are being given more resources and budget to manage this stuff. So extremely challenging. I mean, if you look at this just endpoint growth by type, you can see how the non-traditional endpoints have just taken off, right? We've seen 142% increase in these non-traditional endpoints since 2015. And, and it's truly just due to more mobile, more networking and more IoT gear. So what does this really mean, right? What do we look at? And I think the, the source of the pain, there's just way too many tools to manage all this stuff, right? Um, and so the average IT professional today uses almost four different tools to manage all these different device types, 3.8 to be exact. But the good news is it does not have to be this way, all right? So this is kind of where my pitch for VSA comes in. So for those of you who are familiar with VSA or were in the past, um, what's so cool about it, it does all of this with one tool. Um, and not only that, it does it better. So VSA is going to manage your desktop PCs, your Mac laptops, your regular PC laptops, your network devices. We, we manage public cloud now. Um, we're getting into IoT and an MDM as well. So it's a big picture all under one roof. Essentially, we're going to manage all devices all environments and all endpoint functions. So this is a pretty big deal. This, um, this is going to increase efficiency. And this is what our customers tell us. It's uh, the efficiency gains are just, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, this is, I think it speaks to some of the issues we're all having with hiring and even finding the resources. To be able to lean on a system and an automation for these resources is a huge support, right? Um, so it basically comes under one tool one interface and one really simple pricing model. So what we call this, we call it VSA Unified RMM. And what we mean by unified is kind of what I've already spoken to. We're going to manage absolutely everything in your environment. We're going to automate almost everything. So if you're in, unfamiliar with VSA's automation power, this is really the crux of, of where the power begins and can end because it's unlimited. Uh, we have a automation exchange that has hundreds and hundreds of scripts. And this is where our customers will take those scripts. They can plug and play them. Um, they can even customize them. So it's just truly the, the power is, is um, unsurmountable. And I'm going to get to this a little bit, but now we can even report on practically anything. So some of the cool new features that we have um, been coming out with. Cloud management. We added Azure cloud management earlier this year. So VSA can now discover virtual machines, SQL instances, cloud services, app services, and load balancers all within Azure. And it'll trigger VSA to install the agents on your Azure virtual machines. Really cool. Uh, we have executive reporting. So, I mean, I think showcasing the value of IT work has always been a pain point for all of us. Uh, the, our new executive 
uh, reporting functionality, it's taken reporting to a whole new level of sophistication. So what this means is through our new info center, you can now pull whatever data you want into beautiful, slick, ready-made report templates. We actually leverage uh, Win Enterprise for this. So you can, you can export it into any kind of third-party platform, Power BI, Tableau, uh, you can put it into ready-made templates and they can be sent automatically uh, to whoever you want, whenever you want, and however you want. So this is pretty phenomenal, um, really brings the ability to showcase value to front and center. Uh, we also have lightning fast patching. So our new software management 2.0 platform, which is it's been operational for the better part of this year, um, but what's really neat about it, there's zero CPU storage at the endpoint. So what this means is your, your patches are super fast. You can do a Windows patch in less than a minute. Most patches are within seconds. And our catalog is, is burgeoning. It's like 200 plus titles and it's been designed in a way that things can be added continuously. Uh, we're also getting into MDM, as I mentioned. So we, we have some preview modes coming up on this, but we're taking it to a whole other level with being able to manage and access all different types of, of uh, mobile devices, including Apple. So this is a pretty neat one. And compliance as well. This is a you know, pretty unsexy area, but one that um, is obviously growing in, in need uh, and, and requirements to be an expertise, even though we're not experts. Um, so we have a compliance manager product as well at Kaseya, and you can set it up so that um, VSA pulls in all the, it'll, it'll, um, it'll automate all the compliance data collection by VSA agents, and it's going to leverage your VSA agent procedures to collect and update all of that information in Compliance Manager. So you don't have to toggle to a different tool. All right, and this is coming to, we've got agentless remote control. So what this means is you can access any device. It doesn't even have to have an agent on it. So these are just some of the really neat things coming, but the coolest thing coming this fall, drum roll please, is VSA 10. This is a whole new platform um, that we will be launching. So think of everything we've just talked about for VSA 9, and that's the version we're in now. We're gonna put it on steroids, all right? So extensive endpoint coverage, uh, up to a million endpoints. Exceptional scale. You can scale as quickly and as wide as you need to. It's gonna have an extraordinary user experience. I've seen it. Um, it's, it's completely modern um, and it's, it's very simple and modern. So beautiful user experience and expansive automation. So we had obviously um, automation is sort of the, the meat of VSA. It's gonna take it to a whole new level with X. So we call it VSA X internally, VSA 10, VSA X. Uh, it's coming this fall. So we're excited to be able to show it to you guys. And, um, and that is it. So um, if you'd like to see for yourself, obviously come check us out uh, in the, in the post pitch um, breakout room will be there, but uh, also if you'd like to get a demo of VSA at any time, go to the website. You can take that that link or just go to the website. And thank you for your time. I think I'm under seven minutes.